Hey yo, what is up? In a couple of weeks, uh, 1.21.1 update will drop. And we know a couple of tanks are going to drop along with it, including this one. But let's cover all the tanks that's, uh, that's coming out uh, before we get into the details of the Jaeger. Uh, among them are the new... Um, British wheeled tanks, Saladin, Concept 5 and whatnot, all the British Tech 3 wheel tanks, um, the tier 10 KPZ PR68 prototype, oh, sorry that's the tier 8, um, we have the overwhelming firepower game mode, uh, we have the Kampfpanzer 07 tier 10 which I do believe it's going to be some kind of clan wars reward uh, because along with the new update uh, clan wars will be announced sometime after that i believe um what else are the new tanks the um the amx 13 tier 5 basically tier 5 um a light tank from the french tech tree is going to be some kind of gift tank or something like that and then there's the tank destroyer, the XM66F American TD with a limited turret traverse. And that's another new tank that's going to be coming out uh, together. And yeah, I guess that's about that about covers it. And we're looking at the Jaeger armor profile right now. This is of course confirmed tier nine. Obviously, some kind of reward token tank or, um, you know, some kind of gift tank uh, you earn. And we're looking at the armor profile. This has got the armor profile of a taco. Uh, basically, 30 hull armor all around and 40 millimeters turret armor all around. Now, even though there's a lot of sloping going on, but you can see uh, with 120 millimeter gun, easily penetrate anything around the tank no problem anywhere you shoot you will pen um what about 90 millimeter gun well let's do it this is a 90 millimeter gun with 200 millimeter of uh ap pen easy pen everywhere even on the sloped turret even on the sloped hull no problem this tank is just it's just green everywhere as you can see you pen everything even with a 90 millimeter ap gun and 200 millimeters of penetration what if we lowered that penetration and made it something like a 180 penetration let's check it out 180 penetration all green everywhere this thing basically has no armor anywhere and why well, this is slated to be a tank destroyer, uh, a pure out and out sniper. His only his sole job is sniping from a distance, no armor for protection whatsoever, but a pretty accurate gun. We're talking about 0 0.27 accuracy um with a 10 second reload which you can probably get down to about nine seconds um 850 horsepower with 17.07 power to weight ratio uh this is not a very high power to weight ratio but certainly better than a heavy tank so um in terms of going forward and reverse it's going to work like a mobile heavy tank but the hull rotation speed is pretty good, 41.72. So agility on the spot is pretty good. 41.72 uh, degrees per second it means it is quite agile on the spot, um, rotating its hull left and right is going to be pretty good. But the power to weight ratio means getting up to that 40 kilometers an hour top speed and 18 in reverse it's going to behave more like a heavy tank uh what does this tank have of course the gun is the main um uh, the main uh, the main thing about this tank is going to be the gun 420 alpha 515 uh with he if you pen 
uh, don't rely on the HE because it's only uh, 65 millimeters of penetration. You're better off just um, firing uh, standard AP shells or the APCR shells, which give you 268 penetration and 326 respectively. Uh, I do feel like you're going to be firing a lot of premium shells for that 326 alpha guaranteed pen on almost any tank um and i think this is what they designed the tier 9 um reward tanks to do they want to make you use more premium shells because of that uh you know advantage clear advantage that you have 268 standard penetration isn't too bad but it isn't going to be that reliable when you're fighting against um, higher tier tanks, which is uh, tier tens. So you're going to be relying a lot on that uh, premium ammunition 326. And a 0.27 dispersion means very, very accurate gun. However, the moving dispersion has been determined to be 0.30. This is absolutely horrendous moving dispersions. This is Scorpion G moving dispersions. You hit nothing with this kind of moving dispersion. So don't try to shoot anything on move. Um, make sure you are fully uh, stopped. Make sure your hull is fully stopped while you aim. And then you'll be able to hit your target. If you're trying to snapshot poking out and shoot, you might not hit your target because of that 0 0.30 moving dispersions. Um, shell velocity, amazing. 1,210 on the AP shells, 14, 1,415 on APCR. This is laser light speed and accuracy with premium shells. So that's what I have for you today, the KPZ. T3 Jaeger, that's the final name. Uh, an impressive sniper with absolutely zero armor. Hope you enjoyed this video and took some useful information. I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.